Okay, ladies. Okay, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Wakani, and I am doing my 30 day and final day review on the Mongolian Kingy Curly by Icy Hair. This is it. This is what we're working with, ladies. Okay. I'm just gonna hop right into it. Um, so if you watched my first video, you know that I had three bundles of the Mongolian Kingy Curly in the 26 inches. The hair is is beautiful the curl pattern is great by far that's what sold me and that's what it can we can we can give I see here that okay as you can see I mean at least to me the hair looks completely different I feel like I had purchased a 24 and now we're looking at a good like what you think 18 inch I feel like it looks like an 18 inch now one thing for certain two things for sure the shed Bad. It's real bad. Um, it sheds so bad that I can probably make a wig with the leftover shed if I, you know, don't put hair back on the left. But I don't. So, but the shedding, the shedding was a miracle. All right. So, um, if there's anything about this hair that I can say that <clears throat> it even shook me a little bit is how close it looked to my natural hair. Okay, well, I'm gonna let y'all see that. We're not gonna get too close, but that little dandy might possibly going on. I got a lot of compliments on this hair, okay? People were like, is that yours, girl? It ain't, but you know, it looks like it. It just was so identical to my natural curl pattern. I definitely recommend that you get this hair in a longer length if you think this is something that you're gonna wanna keep in your hair for more than two months because but you won't need the four bundles, you only need three. I think that three bundles, it held up just fine. So I don't think that is something that you can do. It's full enough, no matter how much it sheds. But it's something else about the hair. Um, do you see how I'm stretching my hair? I feel like I never started doing that until I got this hair. I don't know if it was something in the IC hair factory, but that's also why I feel like it's time for me to take it out because I gotta figure out what's going on. Would I purchase the hair again from this company? Yes. This particular type? No. Because it was soft and I like it. Um, and I don't feel like I had the issue with the detangling, but that process where you wash your hair and you wear it for the next three days, you can't do that. It's, I feel like I have to do it every single day. And I don't feel like that was kind of good. If like, we like to wear your hair down every day. The hair was definitely perfect for like going to the gym. I feel like you can always kind of have that cute, messy look, but it was not good for every day. Kind of a cute look. Um, it especially wasn't cute because it's just been shedding so bad that it just, I just, I can't deal with that person. The hair, it gets frizzy. And I don't really feel like the frizz is able to be managed by any type of products. I've used the Yale products in this hair. And I use it, it's just not. It gets frizzy. I don't think any products in the world can save this hair from the frizz. I have to wait this hair to get this look. I have to wait for it to dry. It looks its best when it's dry. But that waiting in between the wet and the dry. Mm -mm. It ain't it. Um, do I think this hair can last another 30 days? It absolutely can. Honestly, I don't feel like I could wear this hair for another month. It's beautiful. But that's that's really the most I can say about the hair. It's beautiful and I feel like if, if that's all you're going for, a look, you can achieve it with the icy hair. But if you want the look with low maintenance, this ain't it. If you want the look with no residue on your pillow, this ain't it. If you want the look without the um, extra time and the maintenance because of how much it dangles, this ain't it. But if you want the price, you want the visual, this is it, girl. I promise you. Um, other than that, icy hair, I would give them on a scale of one to ten. A six. Because six is basic. That's it. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you guys. And I will be in touch with you.